In 1987, two partners with maybe more vision than money went into business with a concept that would eventually put them in the forefront of a growing computer industry. The business strategy was designed to limit the downside during research and development with the marketing of byproducts, keeping focus on the upside potential of the future. The original liquid diamond products were developed by DSI to service the ceramic, medical, and tool and dye industries. Around 1994, free diamond abrasives and slurries became the accepted method of texturing thin film media. Thus, suspended particles or diamond slurry became the industry standard. This was the exact vision upon which Diamond Scientific Incorporated was created. DSI had developed specialized diamond slurries that not only would meet, but exceed industry standards. The company had now reached a position from which the future was all but assured, given the appetite of a rapid expanding computer technology. Now for the pride we wish to share with you. Pride in our personnel. Pride in our facility. And most important to you, pride in the quality of our end product. Perhaps the best way to illustrate our pride is to follow a customer's order from start to finish. Since electronic grade water is so essential to processing diamond slurry, as well as providing sanitized cleaning water, let's establish that source before proceeding. Feed water comes from the city of Houston and undergoes extensive pretreatment requirements so that our reverse osmosis unit operates at peak performance. This series of two water softener columns salt and charcoal beds, reverse osmosis, ultraviolet treatment, dual mixed bed deionization and continuous recirculation at five feet per second ensures a constant supply of electronic grade one water with a minimum of 17.6 megohm resistivity and zero bacterial growth. In addition, filtration through a series of seven 0.2 micron filters plus 0.1 micron point of use filters guarantee the water to be free of particulate contamination. The treatment given water is typical of the quality attention given every phase of our production. Now let's follow through with that customer's order. The client used for this demonstration shall remain anonymous. We sign non-disclosure agreements with all our customers and are very protective of each one. We can say that this order is for a major supplier in the computer industry that requires 0.25 micron diamond slurry that must meet rigid specifications. Samples are made, tested, and sent to the client for their use test and approval before going into production. Testing will continue and results are supplied to the customer throughout the entire production process. Precisely shaped and micronized diamond powder is inventoried in 100,000 carat containers. Color codes are applied according to micron size, and in this order of 0.25 micron diamond slurry, the code is gray. All containers, mixers, and instruments involved will bear the gray color code to prevent cross-contamination between sizes. Since particle size can have profound effects on the end product, particle size analysis is a critical part of quality and process control. Three core samples are taken from each container, and one carat from each core is carefully weighed on this diamond scale and placed in sample jars. Deionized water and surfactant are added to each sample. The jar is sonicated until the diamond powder is dispersed into the solution and the jar walls are free of powder. After the jar sits for a minute, a sample is drawn into this pipette for histographic reading. This state-of-the-art Coulter LS-130 uses laser-based technology to measure particle sizes from 1.0 micron to 2,000 microns in a single scan using 116 size channels. The laser beam hits the diamond particles suspended in the liquid mix. 132 detectors measure the polarization intensity differential scattering for accurate definition as shown here on the monitor. Once the tested samples show the particle distribution meets the specifications for 0.25 micron, the gray code is applied. Each container needed for production goes through the same test procedure. This Coulter N4 Plus uses Brownian motion and laser scattering to accurately determine particle size down to a lower limit of 3 nanometers 
and is used by Diamond Scientific to characterize diamond powders in the sub-micron range. This lab with hospital quality low outgassing Medentech flooring even has a welded seam to keep out any contamination through the floor. A separate air system recirculates the air 24 times per hour through 0.2 micron filters. Regularly changed hair nets, foot coverings, smocks and gloves maintain a room environment exceeded only by a NASA type clean room. Non-contamination is our first priority, so we always thoroughly clean the scales and work areas before and after each use. Now the formula for the liquid mix is produced in the quantity needed and sent through this modular flow meter system that collects and mixes in this storage tank. This cascade of filters ranging from 20 micron to 0.1 micron absolute ensure every component of our liquid carriers are introduced to the mixing tank particulate free. Later it will flow to this production area where it will be mixed with deionized water into product buckets. The next step is to weigh the diamond dust into jars placed on this precision plus balance scale. The scale, the surrounding area, and all weighing utensils have been cleaned of all possible contamination. Specimen jars are thoroughly cleaned and rinsed with DI water. Once diamond powder is weighed into this container, a mixture of deionized water and special wetting agents is added. This combination is now blended. An ultrasonic probe is inserted to sonicate the mixture. The valence has now been changed to a negative charge. High frequency vibrations form millions of microscopic bubbles which implode during the positive excursion. This causes the liquid to become intensely agitated referred to as cavitation. After using the dual probe unit, the operator makes a magnetical filtered exchange before adding the mixture to the product containers. The containers are placed in groups of six per cart for efficiency and test purposes. The cart is moved over to the Diablend automatic blending processor. The mixer carriage will rise to accept the cart and automatically go through a timed cycle when the green light is lit. A blinking yellow light signals the end of the sequence and that the cart can be removed. Next comes the pH and viscosity test. If the pH and viscosity levels are within tolerance, only one container per cart is tested. Otherwise, all six containers would undergo testing and investigation. Although pH readings stabilize faster in some solutions than others, the SensorX electrode provides stable readings in a matter of seconds. The Brookfield viscometer, with a guaranteed accuracy within plus or minus 1.0 percent, is used for optimum sensitivity and reproducibility. The customer's product run is now ready to be sealed and labeled with corresponding color-coded tags listing part number, lot number, and diamond identification size and number. Pails can now be moved to the warehouse for banding, plastic wrapping, and shipping to another satisfied client. In case you wondered what happens in hurricane and thunderstorm prone Houston when electrical power fails, take a look at this complete power generator unit, plugged in and ready to meet any emergency. Now for the finale, and our real pride and joy, our research and development department. Diamond slurry samples are tested on this disc texturing machine that fully simulates production line equipment in the computer industry. A sample disc is accurately weighed on this O-House micro scale and placed on this retainer. Sample diamond slurry for a customer or a new product experiment is added to the texturing fluid tank. The slurry is fed onto the disc through these tubes located on both sides during compound rotation of the disc and pads. Controls are set for the desired RPM and running time, and the test begins. Upon completion, the disc is removed, given an ultrasonic wash, spin dried, and taken to the Texture Measurement System 2000 series, the fastest, most accurate non-contact texture measurement system in the world. The sample disc is given a final blast of air to remove any floating particles in the air and placed in the TMS-2000 for quantifying and mapping full surface, interrupted, and zone textures. RA and RMS roughness results from 0.1 angstrom to 5,000 angstroms are provided along with resolution precision of 0.01 angstrom and a reproducibility of plus or minus 0.5 angstroms. 
Typically, 50 test points are read per second. These results are passed on to the customer, along with weight of disk after texturing. If it is an in-house development, it is analyzed and put to the best possible use. DSI is committed to total quality management. Although we are not a registered ISO 9000 company, we are in compliance and have implemented a continuous improvement program. Quality and consistency are measured with statistical process control. Critical components of our process are monitored by control charts to identify and reduce the sources of variation of incoming material, work in process, and finished product. We thank you for viewing our video presentation, and we hope to have an opportunity in the future to personally conduct you through our plant if you really want to experience our pride.